Is mink oil the fountain of youth for your boots? I certainly hope so because I borrowed these four year old Thursday boots from a buddy of mine and he has not conditioned them even once. So I'm gonna be trying out the top selling mink oil on amazon.com, Soft Souls Mink Oil, to see if it makes a difference. So unlike a lot of leather care companies out there like Bickmore or Kiwi, which are over hundred years old, Soft Soul is quite a bit newer. It was founded in 1991. The company is way better known for like making inserts into athletic shoes. They've also got a wide range of athletic socks. They're a more athletic shoe focused company than these older companies, which were started out by finding like products for saddles on your horses and that sort of thing. But their mink oil somewhere along the way became the most popular mink oil on amazon.com. Right now it is anyway. So I do need to say that like many other shoe conditioners out there though, they don't really tell you exactly what is in the ingredients list. However, I can promise you at three to five dollars for three and a half ounces, there is no way that this is pure mink oil. I actually understand that this is maybe 10% mink oil, if that with a lot of the rest of the fat coming from tallow. So mink oil itself, it's made from the pelts of minks that are destined for the fur industry. They get the fat off it and they render it into these mink based products. Again, it's not all mink oil, but it's mink oil based. So at first glance, when I started getting into boots, it seemed very strange that you would put mink fat onto boots. It seemed kind of morbid, even though of course it's already dead animal skin anyway, but I did balk a little bit at mink oil. But the reason why mink oil is so, so popular is because it is very high in unsaturated fatty acids for an animal fat. It's like 75% unsaturated fat. So what that means is that it is less likely to go rancid. It has better oxidative stability than a lot of like vegetable oils, which are also very high in unsaturated fat. So a lot of people like that, you can slather all over your shoes. It sinks very deeply into the pores. And mink oil is very well known for that. It gets really deep into the pores. And for that reason, it also creates like a kind of a water resistant barrier around the leather. So it's actually very popular on boots, like for people who are really going to be going outdoors in their boots, putting through the paces. In a lot of like militaries, mink oil is standard issue for taking care of the military boots. And it is very well known for darkening the leather. So these boots are not going to look like this at the end of the day. They're going to be quite a bit darker. But ideally, the leather is also going to be better conditioned. It's going to be softer and it's going to have a more robust, like a water resistant, weather resistant property to it. Now, I do really need to emphasize again, these boots have really been totally annihilated by my buddy. He has not conditioned them once in four years. You can see it's really in need of a resole. The leather is very, very, very dry. And a lot of the scratches here, like they're beyond repair, like plenty of the scratches have gone deep into the leather. So it's not the same thing as like when you put Venetian shoe cream on Chrome XL and it can help to remedy the scuffs. These boots, a lot of this damage is permanent. Nonetheless, I'm hoping with an application of this mink oil, actually two applications, cause this leather is very, very dry. I'm hoping to restore some consistency to the color and again, improve the weather resistance and flexibility and moisture of the leather itself. So let's take a closer look. So first things first, you gotta remove the laces. Now, before I filmed this video, I gave this leather a good cleaning. Uh, I just use Leather Honey's leather cleaner. You put like a tablespoon of it into like six-ish ounces of water, shake it up, apply that to the leather, and then uh, let it dry for a day. So I've done that already. Now, I also would want to give it a quick brush down with a horsehair brush before I get started to get rid of any extra dust or anything in there, which is important because otherwise you might be like sort of pushing the dust and dirt deeper into the pores of the leather. So let's give it a quick brush down. Now, when it comes time to apply the mink oil itself, a lot of people, they like to get a couple tablespoons of this, put it in a coffee cup and microwave it so it gets like really liquidy. It is important for the mink oil to be pretty hot, pretty warm because that makes it uh, more liquid. It makes it more easy to sink into the pores of the leather. The idea being that you warm it up, it gets into the pores of the leather, then it sort of solidifies a bit more. That does indeed clog the pores of the leather. Some people hate that. Or some people think it's absolutely necessary for conditioning the leather. I'm just going to put something between my very clean hands and then like heat it up between my hands and then apply it that way. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna wait a few minutes for the absorption to happen and then wipe away any excess, which is important because the residue can attract dirt easily. 
And they say for best results, they recommend applying one coat, letting it dry, and then applying a second coat, which I think I'm gonna do because this is some pretty thirsty leather. Well, that's been about two and a half hours, and man, oh man, these boots look a lot better. Uh, as I expected, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really completely remove the scrapes and cuts on the side here because a lot of those were actually really deeply into the leather itself. Like it's sort of, you can feel the bumps under your hand. So it's not like it's gonna create new leather to fill the scratches. Nonetheless, the color consistency obviously has really, really improved. The leather is noticeably more uh, moist, more supple as well. It didn't get a really big shine because it's not an especially waxy product. Uh, nonetheless. I'm very, very happy with the way this turned out. The color consistency is great, but of course you do have to take into account the fact that it is definitely going to darken your boots. I mean, a lot of people just say that's how leather works. Like leather needs oil to live, oil darkens the leather. And especially because mink oil has that weather protecting effect. Yeah, it's gonna seep pretty deeply into the pores. But as long as you're okay with darker boots that aren't gonna be very easy to shine, uh, it's a pretty good product, especially for more outdoorsy sorts of boots. So I just wanted to mention the price of this really quickly. Uh, Soft Souls Mink Oil, this is 3.5 ounces. It costs between three and $5. On Amazon, it's like three and $4. So you're looking at about a dollar an ounce here. Uh, if you want to compare that to other mink oil based products, uh, you got Red Wings Mink Oil here, and this costs like more like three to $4 an ounce. So the price really reflects the fact this is not 100% mink oil, but still for a product that is going to like, you know, add a water resistance and like color consistency to your shoes, it is definitely on the cheaper side, uh, which could be good news for some folks. All right, so I'm just gonna run through the pros and cons really quickly of this product so you can make up your mind. The good things about Soft Soul's Mink Oil, it is very inexpensive. Uh, it also is really good at creating color consistency and also it sinks very deeply into the pores. So it's very good at improving water resistance and weather resistance, that kind of thing, creating like a barrier against the elements, which again is why mink oil and mink oil based products tend to be more popular among people who have like more outdoorsy uses for their shoes. The downsides of this product, it darkens the leather a whole lot. Not everyone loves that. If you really are worried about that kind of stuff, I'd recommend something more like Big Four or Neat's Foot Oil, something like that. Uh, it also is not great at producing a shine. A lot of people find that when they add mink oil to their products, to their boots, uh, it kind of removes or like greatly reduces the ability to get a nice shine uh, because it's not an especially waxy product. It's not like Venetian shoe cream or Sophia's Renovator, which are often used as bases for putting on polish. And even on their own, they're pretty good at creating polish. Uh, this is not the waxiest product out there. So yeah, it's not great at creating a shine for your boots. So they're probably not best on really, really dressy shoes. The other thing I want to mention, uh, big downside, uh, they are not very forthcoming with the ingredients, but it's definitely not 100% mink oil. So you want to take that into account if that's something that's important for you. All right, those are my thoughts on Soft Souls Mink Oil, enormously popular mink oil product, uh, not entirely mink oil, pretty good at darkening the leather, pretty good at improving color consistency, uh, but you have to kind of suck up the fact that it darkens the leather and is more suited to more outdoorsy, less formal wear. Uh, that's everything from me. Uh, the full written review, by the way, with some more pictures is in the description below and make sure you subscribe as well because I got a ton more boot reviews, boot care reviews uh, and other types of reviews coming up.